You may have heard of Cesar Chavez and Dolores Huerta, but a Filipino historian says they weren't necessarily the pioneers of the labor rights movement in Kern County. To kick off Filipino Heritage Month, 23 ABC's Kristen Vartan has the story that's not often told. Good morning, Kristen. Good morning, Danielle. Get ready for a history lesson you may have not heard in school. I'm going to step out of the shot so you can see what's right behind me. There's a wall mural that depicts the labor leaders of the movement, including Cesar Chavez and Filipino American Larry Itliong. And you're about to hear a first person account from the founder of the Filipino American Historical Society in Delano, who also happens to be the child of labor workers who took part in the movement, the Delano Grape Strike and Boycott back in the 60s. Filipino American Alex B. Edelor was born in the Philippines and raised in Delano. He still recalls in vivid detail at just 10 years old a historic after school surprise from his parents in September of 1965. I had a house to myself. I would make me a sandwich, watch cartoons in the afternoon, right? A little piece of heaven. Uh, but I came home to find uh, it. My afternoon of, of fun and pleasure was disrupted because my mom and dad were home and uh, they told me that they went on strike. Of course, little Edelor adds that he realized the significance of 2000 Filipino American workers laying grapes on the ground instead of in their packaging before walking out. Edelor had worked in the fields himself as a kid and watched the news with his family religiously. But now the Edelors were a part of history, a movement spearheaded by labor organizer Larry Etliong. He was a Filipino American who helped raise wages for farm workers in Coachella Valley before securing a unanimous vote at the Filipino Community Hall and Delano to go on strike. Some of the farm workers, including my dad, uh, would would go to Coachella Valley early in the summer and then, and then come home to Delano. And just a lot of them uh, um, got to experience the uh, uh, Larry's uh, wizardry, if you will. Edelor points out that this predates Cesar Chavez's civil rights efforts. He says that Filipino labor leaders like It Leong recognized that they could not accomplish change alone. So, it Leong reached out to Chavez, who at first said, You know what? I'd love to join your brother, but we're not ready. As the history books tell us, Chavez did end up joining the movement with It Leong days after on Mexican Independence Day, and the labor workers' movement became what we know it to be today. Ultimately, Edelor says it was the work of It Leong, Philip Vera Cruz, and all the farm workers who marched with them that changed the course of Filipino American life in Delano forever, including Delano's first Filipino city councilman, eventually mayor, the union producing the first health clinic in the area, and regulation on pesticides. We loved it. It was our hometown. We just wanted the bigger piece of the pie. Edelor further emphasizes that Filipinos in Delano have come so far with more jobs in the city than when he grew up. Local Filipino Americans are not just in agriculture, but the medical field, public office, and other industries. And in 2020, 2019, Governor Gavin Newsom recognized October 25th, so this Sunday, as Larry Itliong Day, which also happens to be his birthday. Live in downtown Delano, Kristen Vartan, 23ABC News, connecting you.